dwarf seahorses. They are literally the size of my finger. Look at all these shrimp. Oh my gosh. Just got a fresh shrimp in them, so let me get it a good amount. Can they hand feed them? <laughs> Yo, oh my god. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be picking up two micro seahorses for my seahorse aquarium. As you guys know, we do have a seahorse aquarium. We're gonna be adding two more to it and them being baby tiger tail seahorses, which are absolutely so cute. And we're actually gonna be able to watch these guys grow. And then maybe even one day they'll have babies because the ones we have now are males. So maybe these two hopefully are females and they can one day have some babies. And we can get a video of the seahorses actually having the babies and then we would actually have babies for ourselves. So we and seahorses, if you don't know, they lay like thousands of babies, so it would be crazy. Obviously, not many of them survive since there's so many, but a good amount do, so maybe we can have some little babies and then give them to Andy, and then you guys can actually come pick them up and buy them yourselves. So for some of you that don't know, this right here is the seahorse aquarium. We got, as you can see, if this doesn't give you a little hint, we got a seahorse. Uh, little cartoon thing on the side of the glass because everyone always asks me what's in here because you can never see the seahorses they camouflage so well and they like hide up under the rocks with their tails so it's really hard to see them so all my friends always say like nick what's in here and i pretty much just point to this little seahorse and it kind of explains it but that is the aquarium that we're going to be getting two little new seahorses for and they're actually little baby tiger tail seahorses we already have that species in here and they are males so hopefully these guys can get bigger and hopefully they're females and um yeah, they can have babies. That would be pretty cool. So, anyways, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's head to the aquarium shop and pick up our new seahorses. Look at how tiny these seahorses are. They, they're literally this, smaller than my finger. So cute. There's like four of them in here. There's two on that little piece of coral there, and there's two up here. They're so tiny. All right, so we're gonna go along with two of these little tiger tail seahorses. They're literally the cutest things ever. Oh my god. The Andy's hand, it looks like a little penny. <laughs> we just got our two baby tiger tail seahorses. It's gonna be a cool little addition to have some more seahorses. And these guys may even be males or females, so we may be having some baby seahorses on our hands. And if you guys know seahorses, they lay a lot, a lot of babies. So we'll see you guys at the house. We are back home. We got our two little seahorses right here. These guys are literally adorable. They're both like the same size as my thumb. And that kind of just shows you how small they are. So what we're gonna do for the acclimation process is get them in this little bucket right here. Then we're gonna take a drip line from this tank, adding it to this bucket, and then we'll give them about 30 minutes and that's slowly gonna match the same temperature and salinity of that tank. And then they'll be good to go. All right, here they go. These cute, oh my gosh, they are really, really cute. But here they go. Oh, there they are. Look at how cute these things are. Oh my gosh, all right, anybody, I guarantee there's gonna be a lot of people buying seahorses after this video, because uh, this has gotta be one of the most coolest aquarium pets you can own. They are literally the size of my finger. Got the drip line going, seahorses are doing good. We're gonna give them about 30 minutes to acclimate, and then they're going into their new aquarium. I did add this little like file fish to the tank. I actually caught him in a bunch of seaweed, and one of these days, I do wanna make a video on that, going through the seaweed. We did it about two months ago, and ended up catching that guy in a bunch of other really cool stuff. Stuff, but we've heard of like seahorses being in them and stuff but I definitely want to make a video out of that so let me know in the comments or give this video a like and that lets me know that you guys want to see that video happen get this video to 5,000 likes and we will do that so basically every year during the summer a bunch of seaweed comes and right now it's summer so all the seaweed gets pushed up to the beach and you end up finding little seahorses little crabs little shrimps little rope fish it's actually really really cool if you guys want to see a video on that 5,000 likes and we'll make that happen we do have a few fish in there that being that file fish which is also kind of similar to like this. They kind of live the same lifestyle. You find them in the same habitat. So yeah, I try to make this like very seahorse-like. We got some live coral in there that the seahorses love to grip on. A lot of them uh, actually hide under the rock and hang from their tail, like a bat almost, which is weird. And I don't know if you can see them up in there, maybe. There's actually a tiger tail seahorse right there. He loves that piece of coral. I don't know what it is about it, but he's on it like 90% of the time. This little file fish, I caught him when he was like micro, micro size, but now he's getting pretty big and he's awesome. He's actually really, really cool. Let me know in the comments below the exact species of this little file fish. Other than that, seahorses are still acclimating. They probably got about 20 more minutes to go and then they're going in their new aquarium. I've said it like 10 times, I'm just, I'm really excited because these are literally like, they're so cute. They're little baby seahorses. So it's gonna be pretty cool also. Shout out to the PC. Alrighty, 
it is time to add our baby seahorses to their new aquarium. Here we go. I'm gonna try to do both of them at once. That would be the best thing. Come on, make this a little easy. Come on, boys. There we go. We got them. We got them. All right. Look how cute they are. They're so tiny. There they go. There they both are right there. We got one on that piece of little coral. Then I just saw another one. It's really hard to see them, but we're gonna find them. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There he is right there. This can give you a size comparison. Look at this little guy compared to my finger. Now it's gonna be cool, because like I said, these are baby tiger tails. Once they get bigger, they possibly can mate with our other tiger tail that's actually right there on the piece of coral. Little file fish is checking them out. They're getting along. We just got to keep a close eye on these guys to make sure they do good because when they're this small, they're very, very sensitive. So we just got to keep our eye on them, make sure nothing messes with them. And hopefully they do awesome in here. I mean, this is literally like seahorse heaven. We got a bunch of structure for them to grasp onto. Seahorses are in their new aquarium. These guys are going to be awesome to watch grow. Let me know in the comments down below what we should name these two guys. Look at all these shrimp. Oh my gosh. Just got a fresh shrimp in them, so we're gonna be getting a good amount. All those shrimp going in. We got about three dozen in there. We got a bucket of live shrimp right here. Now these are some pretty decent sized shrimp. We got a whole bunch of them. Jupiter bait absolutely hooked it up. I mean, look at these guys. They're perfect size. And we got a whole bunch of hungry fish to the right of us. So we're gonna see who wants to eat some. I think the blue and yellow cod and for snapper looks pretty flared up right now, so. This is going to be an epic, epic season. Let's get some shrimp in the water. All right, we're going to let Isaac, since Isaac's never fed the pond before, he's one of my buddies, we're going to let him feed the pond for his first time. Got a little small one. Yeah. Small one first. Small little going shrimp in. going in. You going to hand feed him? <laughs> Yo, oh my god. Dude, insane. Gone. That shrimp is gone. Let's see. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. Well, it again. Right the emperor is insane, bro. Look at everything's out right now. We got our lionfish out. Bumblebee grouper is right there in the cage, just waiting for something to come his way. And I think we're gonna do a whole bunch at one time. So the stingrays, eels, everything can kind of just eat. All right, I'm just gonna throw this one in the middle and see who eats it. Oh, 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 oh! Bumblebee grouper got it. That was sick. Dude, he's big. All right, I'm gonna take a handful. Holy cow, these, now these shrimp do have some spines on them, so gotta be careful. Got a handful. We're about to do a big old shrimp feeding frenzy. Here we go. Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. bumblebee grouper just wrecked one. Oh, 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 oh. Blue and yellow cod, ate one. I'm, I'm missing it. It's hard to keep up with all of them, but everything's pretty much eating right now. And there's a shrimp. That's stuck on the rock up there. He's smart. That is a smart shrimp right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's literally like half in the water, half out of the water, just on the rock. And he doesn't obviously want to go down there because um, he would be too. But everything is just going crazy right now. With that being said though, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. These two little seahorses are going to be a really cool addition to the channel. We're going to basically watch them grow and then maybe even one day they'll have their own little baby. So that's going to be something to look forward to. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see us go out and catch stuff out of the seaweed, little fish, little crabs, little shrimp, also like this video. With that being said though, guys, hope y'all enjoyed it and we'll see y'all in the next one. See y'all! Oh